Let's turn now to Washington with new reports circulating about that huge leak of classified government information. Kayla Tausche has the latest. Kayla? Kelly, two U.S. officials tell NBC News that the suspected leaker of troves of classified documents is Jack Teixeira, a 21-year-old who served in the intelligence wing of the Massachusetts National Air Guard. An arrest, these officials tell NBC News, is imminent. The New York Times first reported the identifying information about Mr. Teixeira, who served as the leader of a chat group on Discord with about 20 to 30 other members, mostly teenage boys, and that a group member began distributing classified documents from his job starting several months ago. According to Bellingcat, those documents later ended up on other threads on 4chan and Telegram. Earlier this morning in Ireland, President Biden said a breakthrough in the investigation was close and said this when asked about his concerns with the situation. I'm not concerned about the leaking news, and I'm concerned that it happened. But there's nothing contemporaneous that I'm aware of that is of great consequence. The fact that the U.S. government was not aware of the leaks until just before press reports surfaced raises serious questions about how much more information could have gotten out there. When asked whether the leak was contained, NSC spokesman John Kirby said earlier this week, we truly do not know. Kelly? It's hard to imagine it's contained when it's been circulating on, you know, these social media channels for months. And some of the documents then later appeared to be maybe doctored and shared by Russians, uh, for instance. So uh, assessing the legitimacy is going to be difficult of each individual report. Also, strangely, Kayla, some of them look like they had been folded and then unfolded and had, you know, kind of gorilla glue marks on them, raising questions. And let's not forget the larger picture here. They're revealing what at the time were serious deficiencies in Ukraine's air defense and its capabilities to carry out this spring in initiative and its need for a lot more support from the West. So between that and then the South Koreans upset, I mean, there's already been a lot of fallout here. Yeah, a lot of fallout, Kelly, even though the president is trying to downplay some of those concerns. You mentioned South Korea, and in one of those alleged documents, uh, there was a discussion about whether South Korea would, in fact, be providing much-needed artillery to Ukraine. And some of these documents suggested that, uh, that South Korea was torn over whether to do that. And other allied leaders have been making comments about the possibility of that in just the last few days. But, Kelly, you should note that a lot of these allies, when asked about the documents and what it means about the relationship between the U.S. and these countries, they say that there, there is a lot of question about the legitimacy, that they've been altered, that in some cases there's misinformation included in the, in the documents. So clearly it's going to be a while before we have these nailed down. And, and it's also clearly going to... Uh, create a lot of uh, discussion and policy processes within the White House when they figure out what is known about their strategy in Ukraine and whether they need to change some of that now that the information is out there. Right, exactly. And maybe that's the only way we're really going to know the impact this has had is if we start to see big reports of a lot more assist missile assistance or aircraft assistance to Ukraine. Yeah, possibly, Kelly, although we should note that there, while there have been, there's been willingness by some other countries, like notably France, to send aircraft to Ukraine, uh, there is still not a willingness within the Biden administration to do that. That could change over the coming months as there's a pressure campaign by some of these other countries as the war goes on uh, beyond a year, a year and a half, and it just begins to drag on. But it's hard to see how President Biden's resolve could be softened on that front. But of course, uh, anything could happen. Yeah. Kayla, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed on this fast-moving story today. Kayla Tausche.